Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching this Sunday. We're going to review a couple different EDC items today. Uh, the first of which is a tilted superconductor ring. I got this from a friend on Facebook named Dave. Uh, you can see his information here on the card. I try to keep my shadow out of the way. Uh, but you can see this one's a tilted superconductor. It's uh, 12 and a half. That's just my size. And it's uh, also etched. It was made in March and this one's serial number 51. Comes with his little unique card. This is actually it looks like a picture of that superconductor, a cross cut of the superconductor, the flat cut. Uh, they come in larger pucks, like hockey puck size. Uh, don't ask me what's inside of them. It's really cool stuff. Nonetheless, it's a uh, copper alloy you see on the bottom there. Don't mind mine. I've been wearing and brutalizing this thing. Uh, you can see straight through here. Sorry. Uh, Nonetheless, it's a copper, and then there's those alloys that are in there. They're arranged in a specific orientation, and when he tilted and cut it, you can see a little bit of an angle on them as you go through. Uh, I really like these rings by Dave. Superconductor's a really cool alloy. Uh, I'm an electrician by trade. We never used superconductors. We used copper a whole lot and aluminum a whole lot, so still pretty neat to have something like this. Uh, thanks again, Dave. I appreciate it. Nonetheless, if you guys ever want to, you know, take a look at some of the other cool stuff that Dave has, check him out on Instagram. He's also on Facebook quite often. He does some uh, some live videos as well, so you can see him shaping some of this stuff and uh, forming it. Uh, he also gives you multiple options as far as, like, uh, liners in your band, if you want Tamascus or, you know, any type of uh, Zercuti or however you say it. Uh, he also does gold liners, rose gold liners, 10K, 14K, pretty much anything you want. So, yeah, check out Dave's Facebook and Instagram whenever you guys get a chance. Uh, he's made some really cool stuff since this one, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of fond of it. It's, it's stuck around for a while, so it's going to stay here. But nonetheless, thanks again, Dave. I appreciate it, man. Uh, we're going to move on to the, uh, the Brightling now. Mine came in a blue box with a tan bottom. It actually had warranty card and whatnot inside of it as well. Uh, has this little leather pretty cool little leather case I've been using using mine quite often when you open it up there's another little type of leather that's in here uh, I don't know if they're all shipped this way they all come in this manner nonetheless uh, I'm, I'm kind of fond of the blue after wearing it for a while I really wanted a black one uh, but I, I love the blue and honestly you can get a different band so it doesn't really make too much of a difference uh, this one comes with the chronometer as well. This one's set up for uh, pulse ox, like, so you can see, you know, what your pulse rate is and whatnot. You can also use it in, you know, any other manner. Same with that stop-start button and a lap button there as well. Uh, we're gonna run it to just to show you guys kind of how it works. Because after a minute of running, uh, that tenth of a second hand stops moving, uh, and it just goes on your red one second hand and the minute hand top left on the three dials in the background. Uh, show you, you can actually do lap times here as well. And uh, it'll stop. Three, four, and five. You can hit lap again and it'll keep keep track of your time. Um, I really love the fact that the dial does not, it's not unidirectional like the majority of the ones out there and there's no click to it. So if, you, know, you got buddies like mine who like to come up and you know turn your watch just a little bit, just say, ha ha ha, now you gotta go out now. No, we're not playing that game today. Anyway, uh, by far one of my favorite timepieces just because you throw this on your wrist and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a metal watch. Although Breitling created this metallic compound that the watch is made from called Bright Light. Uh, it really looks like a stonewashed DLC stainless, but it is a hell of a lot lighter than stainless. It's a hell of a lot lighter than titanium, and it's hypoallergenic. Uh, I'm not going to go into extreme detail. That's pretty much the only details you need to know about it whenever you're looking into buying one of these. But nonetheless, you can see we're past a minute and that uh, tenth of a second hand there has stopped. Our one minute hand, up to 30 minutes rather, has kept going and then your red hand continues to move. Uh, I know some people like to let those run. I, I haven't done that on this one just because I don't know what the battery life is like straight from the factory. Um, this is a thermo-treated quartz, which is a different different than normal quartz in the sense that it's supposed to last longer, from what I understand. So I'm kind of curious on the life. Um, of course, you have a matching clasp 
back here, which you can't see because I covered it up. It's that same bright light material. Uh, I like bright light. It's very, very light. This thing moves with me everywhere. I've been wearing it more often now. And I'm, I'm, I can't go back to my old metal band watches now because this rubber band, as light as it is, is moved as flexible as it is it just it stays with you it doesn't move around doesn't yank the crap out of my hair on my arm like my other watches do so I've grown very fond of this piece uh, I got this from Nick Halabi at Nick of Time Time Pieces uh, so if you guys ever need any time pieces if you're ever looking for good deals Nick is the one to get them for you I'm telling you right now uh, he's been doing it for long enough that he can get you a watch pretty quickly um, course there are those that are a little bit out there but nonetheless I would go to Nick before I went to anyone else uh, he got me a killer deal on this watch I cannot tell you how much because it was literally a steal um, nonetheless Nick Halabi and Nick of Time Time Pieces you can find him on Facebook uh, you can probably find him on Instagram as well if my dumbass would have figured that out before I got on a video but nonetheless hit him up on Facebook he will be more than happy to help you find the watch you're looking for. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Just wanted to mention again, we are going to have a giveaway when I hit 1,000 subscribers. It is not going to be this watch because I love this watch. Uh, there may be some other elements that, that peek into the picture that, that may or may not be included in that giveaway. I'm not going to give anything away right now, but uh, 1,000 subscribers, we will be giving something away. So y'all stay tuned. Thank you so much for your viewership. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thank you. Have a good day.